Is it on? Is it on? Surprise around the corner. Surprise around the corner. You might get this. You might get that. You might get hit with a baseball bat. Surprise around the corner. What up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Surprise Around the Corner. Welcome, my surprise army, all my corner boys or corner girls. How y'all doing today? I'm doing damn good today. I had mad fun today, and I hope you have some too. Oh, how's everybody doing today? I'm alright. I'm good. I'm feeling good. I know I'm gonna be looking good. Cause what I just bought? Nah. Yeah, um, how everybody doing? I hope everybody doing good. Um, today was a good day. I always getting confetti on shit and it never drops anywhere where I want it to. Yeah. But um, how's everybody day going? My day's going good. Shout out to Yasleen. My co-worker and my good friend from Brooklyn. Shout out to you, your moms, and your brother, Eric. I had so much fun with you guys today. We had so much fun. We went shopping. We walked through a farmer's market where I almost got stung by bees. But it was cool. And, um, yeah, we walked around. We went shopping. We went to Forever 21. Y'all, I heard Forever 21 is going out of business. I've only been to Forever 21 one time. I bought, no, twice. I bought these nice pair of pants, and I bought those five pair of shorts for $5. And now they're going out of business. So I heard they're going out of business, so I said, come on, Yasin, let's go shopping. She said, okay. I went there. They didn't have shit. They didn't have nothing. They had things that looked like you could wash your dishes with. Rags of clothes. Shirts for a dollar, five dollars. Some stuff was good. Some stuff that didn't have your size, so fuck it. So we walked around. We went to a farmer's market. And we went to We went to Lush. Lush is a homemade, handmade, all natural ingredients place cosmetic. They got perfumes, colognes, face washes, all soaps. They soaps are the bomb. Dope place to shop. If you want anything to do with anything natural, put it on your face, your skin. Go to Lush. I know they have them in New York. I know they have them in Philly. I don't know if they have them in Cali. But look for Lush. If you can't, you find them online. And this is what I bought. I bought this. I like anybody know me. I love my skin. I love to scrub. I love to exfoliate. So with me, like I said, I don't like nothing with fragrance or, you know what I'm saying, like flavors. You know, your face don't need to smell good. So I bought this. This is a face and body scrub. It's Ocean Salt by Lush. You can fully it real good. It got, um, it's a face and body scrub, a vodka infused scrub to bright and smooth skin. Well, I'm going to try it out. This is how it looks. Got these blue rocks in there. I'm kind of iffy. I don't know where that blue color come from. It don't look natural to me. That looks like some motherfucking die. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try it. Yeah, I got to, you know, look at it some more, but it's all natural. I don't know. We'll see. And then, like I said in my last video, the one that none of y'all watch, bum, 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 on my Facebook video, which, like I said, none of y'all watch. Like, I care. I shouldn't even be showing y'all this shit. Y'all don't give a fuck anyway. But, um... Another thing I did, like on my last video, when I scrubbed my face, like I said, I used the shea butter soap, the black soap, scrubbed my face, boom, boom, boom. Then I used alcohol. So instead of alcohol, they told me to use this. I bought a breath of fresh air. It's a toner. And spritz in a blend of cooling, aloe vera, soothing rose, and clarifying the herbs to smooth and balance your skin. So this is what you do after you scrub your face. You wash your face, you spritz this on, and yesterday, after, shout out to Row House Restaurant in Harlem, I went there yesterday, good, good, good food, I don't know about the fried chicken, the fried chicken break your motherfucking teeth, but anyway, the food was kind of good, the jazz was good, the live band was playing good, 
The scrambled eggs is good. The waffles is good. That chicken will break your motherfucking teeth. I don't know what type of skin that shit was. That shit was... I don't know. That shit was Teflon coated. Crunch, crunch. Like, nah. That shit will break your fucking teeth. But after that, I shout out to that, you know, Raw House in Harlem. After that, yesterday we went to, to this health food place. And um, I bought this right here. This is Moringa Oil. If you can see it. Moringa Oil. This is a type of good oil. It got vitamin C in it. It's all natural. And it's good for your face. So... I'm going to scrub my face with this. I'm going to tone my face with this. A breath of fresh air. And then I'm going to use this at the end of Moringa. At the end, you know, put a little bit of oil on. You don't want to clog your pores up, but this is a good oil. Other than a cocoa butter or a thick-ass shea butter, that, that would rip. I mean, you can use that, but you got to doop, 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 a little dab. This is all natural, moringa oil. I suggest you look it up. It's a good moisturizer. It's good for your skin. And yeah. Oh, and I went, after we went to Lush, we went, yeah, Beacon's Closet. I put some bad shit to wear when I, I this shit is bad. When I wear this motherfucker, I'm not even going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all later on. Because me, like I said, a lot of y'all don't know. I'm in the clothes. I'm in the fashion and everything. And um, I got two pieces from this motherfucker right here. Shit. What? You? What? Shit. When I wear what I bought in this motherfucker right here. Mm. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them cross and destroy. Me don't follow fashion. Me trendsetter. Oh, I can't wait. Ooh, I can't wait. Yeah, um, so today was a damn good day. I got something for my skin. I got something to rock to kill motherfuckers when I come through like this. Uh, 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 who that? It's me, bitch. You look nice. Tell me something I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha. I can't wait to wear that shit. So, um, yeah. So, today was a good day. So, like I said, after this video, I'm going to use my scrub. I'm just going to use my spritzer. And I'm going to use my Moringa oil. Moringa? Moringa oil. I tried it last night, but I'll let you know, guys, how it is, how it goes. But if you want to try these products, Lush, if you want to sponsor a motherfucker, let me know. If you want me to do some more products, let me know. But anyway... On with the video. Okay. Today's top. Okay. Bam, bam, boom. Okay. Okay. There's a movie coming out this Thursday, and I'm going to see it. Me, I love villains. I love mean people. Villains. If there was no villains, there would be no movies. Okay. So we all need a villain. Me, villains. Villains like to dress. Villains are mean. Villains are mysterious. And one of the villains that's Coming out with a movie is The Joker. I think the actor name was Joaquin, I mean, Joaquin, 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 well, I don't know, Joaquin something. I don't know, I forgot his last name. <clears throat> but it comes up this Thursday. It's supposed to be about how The Joker started. It traces his life from the beginning, how The Joker became the Joker who he is. And um, some people think the movie will be very violent because the movie is about a man and he's having mental health issues in his mind and, you know, he's loose through New York City and, you know, it's like he's lost himself and it's like they consider him a maniac walking through New York City and now they feel like the movie theaters are going to be in jeopardy as far as violence. They think there's going to be a copycat joke out there. There's going to be shootings. I pray it doesn't. All we want to do is see a movie. You know, like, this This stuff got, you know, got me kind of saying I'm scared to go see a damn movie. I'm going to go to matinee like this. Ooh, ooh. Okay, ooh, yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm fucking door open. I'm just, I don't know. I really want to see that movie. It looks the... The man that played the movie, Joaquin, 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 Joaquin. He looks disturbed. 
I ain't gonna lie, he looks like a cuckoo motherfucker walking through New York City. So, I mean, it looks like a damn good movie to me. I really still want to go see it. But don't let that deter you to go see it. Please, guys, go support this movie. If you don't, if you're scared to go, I understand. That's the world we live in. But, um, yeah. But, um, it's a good movie, so I'm going to go watch it, you know. They just fear it's going to be a lot of violence. So, please, no violence, please. Everybody's just going to watch the movie. Okay, is this a movie? What else? Oh, Mattel. Mattel to a company. The company that came out with Barbie. They're the makers of Barbie. They're coming out with a gender-neutral doll. Look, I don't know what a gender-neutral doll is. I don't know why there's a need for that. I thought there was a Ken and Barbie. So, like, if you want to play with Ken, pick up Ken. If you want to play with Barbie, play with Barbie. But a gender-neutral in the middle... Wow. <laughs> what is... What? I don't know. Tell me what you think about it. I don't. I, <sighs> Whew. That's a that's a that's a that's a sticky topic right there. And um, <laughs> I don't know. I want to see how this doll is gonna look. I don't know who would want. I mean, I. I don't know. We'll see. Damn, this is a lot of confetti I threw. Ooh, shit. Um, but uh, uh, mm, mm, poor R. Kelly. Paul, I know he wish he knew he could fly right now. Cause Okay, the story is allegedly they say that now R. Kelly is locked up in jail. And being that he's locked up in jail, he's saying that his health is fading. He's telling people that his hands, his sticky hands, are numb. He said he can't feel nothing with his hands. His hands are numb. Yeah, they should be numb, motherfucker. You out there touching them little girls. Motherfucker, that's what you get. Now you can't feel nothing. That's what you get. So dumb. You get the blue pig award. I was gonna give it to somebody else, but you get it, dumbass motherfucker. That's what you get. If you ain't touched them little girls, you wouldn't be in jail in the first place. That's what you get. Now you can't feel nothing with your sticky fingers. That's what you get. <laughs> now you get to stay in a cell with some hard bread, some fake ass ground beef, and dirty feet. That's what you get. That's what you get. So now you deserve the Blue Pig Award. That's what you deserve, you dumb motherfucker. Anyway, my hands are numb. Like, my health is fading, but my hands are numb. Well, that's what you get. I, mm -hmm. What else do we got to talk about? Hmm. J-Lo and Shakira. I can't do that. Shakira, Shakira, Shakira. Boom. It's been confirmed that J-Lo and Shakira, Shakira, it's been confirmed that they will be doing the halftime show at the Super Bowl. A lot of people are like, mm -hmm, okay, well, a lot of people are saying, okay, I'm not going to watch. A lot of people say, okay, I'm going to watch. But a lot of people are kind of mad, particularly one rapper from back in the days. I understand where he's coming from. Okay. J-Lo, J-Lo, and Shakira, they're performing a halftime show. Now, other performers or, you know, celebrities that live in Miami feel that they should be able to perform at the halftime, too. The number one person that's kind of mad... I mean, I understand it. It's a Latin theme kind of theme. I understand it. J-Lo, Shakira, Shakira. They might bring out... um. Come on, shake your body, do that, dun, 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 that lady, Gloria Estefan. They might bring her out. So I get it. They're in Miami. They're trying to do a Latin thing. Pitbull's going to come out. But, but one person is kind of mad, which is Luke. Uncle Luke. Come on, baby. Or, um, what's that? Doodle Brown. Doodle Brown. I want to run. I want to run. Boom. Doodle Brown. Boom. Okay. Luke. Uncle Luke is kind of mad because he wants to perform. Now. I understand the Latin thing. And number two, Jay-Z has an input in this. He has an input in this. Now, number one, Shakira is under Rock Nation. So, typically, she would perform, I get it, I get it, Latino, Latina, ay, 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 Miami, ay, 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 I get it. But, 
Luke is feeling left out. He feels like he's the mayor of Miami. He feels like, you know, he represents Miami, which Luke does represent Miami. I understand and everything, but you have to remember, this is a family type of theme show. This is going to be a family type of show for all ages, including kids. Now, there's nothing that Luke has came out with that would be appropriate. There's no type of music that Luke has came out with that would be appropriate for the Super Bowl where kids would actually enjoy it. Now, if they did bring Uncle Luke out there, okay, and that's another thing. Uncle Luke is telling Jay-Z to fix it. Fix it. You're going to have to get me in there some way, somehow. I understand it, but look, your music is not appropriate for the Super Bowl. No matter how much they chop up your song, there's nothing. All your songs is about ass and tits and shaking and fucking and boom, 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 Like, it's like, titties, 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 booty, 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 booty. It's like, what, you're going to have a whole bunch of girls out there in thongs and bikini tops and breast all out it's not gonna look good for the children for it's, it's, it's not good it's not you're not considered a wholesome type of performer and i understand you represent miami but that right there is on a big another broader spectrum like it's, it's, it's huge so it's like eh, that's not the type of music that would be good for that i'm trying to, to feel like like that would be like um, that would be like rain dance, you know, the rain dance being there. Okay, like if you want the guys to rain dance, okay, say for instance, if the guys that did the rain dance, the foot thing, lived in Miami and they wanted to perform and everything, it just doesn't match up with, well, they could do the rain dance. I'd do. I bet. But your music is just too out there, too risque to be for a wholesome family show like that. I know it's sports, but it is what it is. Eh, not kind of cool. But, yeah, guys, I just wanted to hit y'all with another video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm five more away from 200. I cannot hit this 200 for nothing. So I need you guys' help. Come on, my surprise army. Please like. Hit the thumbs up. Please. I know y'all watch my videos. Thank you. I'm so grateful that y'all watch my videos. But please, when you watch the videos, hit the thread. Damn, subscribe. I mean, subscribe button. And hit the thumbs up. But no. Seriously. Please share with your friends. If you think I'm funny, I ain't trying to be funny. But this is this is Deron. This is surprise around the corner. I don't know why I said my name. But fuck it. Y'all are my name. My name is Deron. But... Please, share with your friends. Like, comment. Please let people know about me. When you watch my videos, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That really helps me out a lot. I'm pushing for 200. Y'all get me to 200. I swear to God, I'm going to do a celebration video that y'all will never forget. But thank you so much. And I can't wait. I'm going to scrub my face with the ocean salt. And the fresh breath air. And the moringa oil. I can't wait. But I'll let you guys know how these products came out. I love you guys. Oh, give me that virtual hug, bitches. I love you guys. Thank you for watching me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm five more away from 200. Please tell your friends. Hit, tell your mother. Hit the subscribe button. Take your kid's phone. Hit my subscribe button. Hit that, motherfuckers. I need five more. Please. Okay? I love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. I love you. I love all you guys for taking the time out to watch me. And I really mean that. And I still don't believe I'm a YouTuber. It is bugging me out. But it's a good thing. I'm at 200 now. Shit, I'm trying to hit 2 million. All right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.